Welcome to Quail's Knitting Nest. My name is Joy. And I'm Janet. Hello. We are here on a very wet day. <laughs> Poor on. Oh. We're recording near the end of March and it is pouring, pouring, pouring. Yeah. <laughs> At least it's not snow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're supposed to have three inches of, mm -hmm. of rain today. Two to four inches of rain, which is outrageous. And then winds tonight. Mm. The warning about the trees falling over mm. with the wet ground. Yeah. We've had a but, lot of really windy days mm -hmm. here this year. We have. Last week was beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, last last we week we went on the 60s, Philly Yarn 70s. Crawl, and we had perfect weather for it. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Fun times. <laughs> <laughs> we had a great day. So, Joy, let's start with your sweater. Okay. It is beautiful. So, I finished my sweater. This is what it looks like. It has kind of a weird thing going on here at the bottom, and I'll explain why. And I can't really turn around here, but it's all cables it's all and cables lace in the back. all the way down the back. Yep. And there's the sides. And show your buttons. You have to show your buttons. Let's That's see. special. I don't know how, how close up I can get, but yeah. If you can see it, they have little flowers. There's two little flowers on there. She got those on the yarn crawl. Yeah, I got them on the what, yarn crawl. Uh, what story was that? Pearls of Wisdom. Oh, was it Pearls? Yes, yes it was. Yes, it was. Yep. That's right. Very so pretty. this pattern is called the Heavenly Blue Cardigan by Candace Eisner Strick. It's from this book called Beyond Wool, which came out in uh, 2004. And this is what the pattern looks like. I made a few modifications to it. This bottom ribbing here, mm -hmm. I didn't care for. Mm -hmm. I made it shorter. So I made it both shorter and these were like uh, pearl ridges oh, in yes. here. And I made it sort of a broken broken rib instead of pearl ridges because I didn't like the look of the the pearl ridges and I made it shorter and then in the pattern sh her button band starts at the top of the ribbing mm -hmm. here so I did the same thing on mine but because my ribbing was shorter the button band starts lower and it ends up I think looking a little wonky but it's okay can't you add a button there? I could, but it's so far down, I would never button it there. Mm -hmm. In fact, I might not even button this one. I think it looks fine like that, though. And it has, it does have slits on the sides, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think you need to. So she has that same pearl ridge thing on the button pans and the cuffs, and I changed them all to be my modifications. This sort of broken rib thing going on here because I preferred that I just didn't really like the look of that but the overall the whole sweater I really liked the cables and lace mm -hmm. thing going on there it's worked bottom up but I did the sleeves top down so I picked up around the shoulder and knit them down from the top and oh so the buttons she has them every other section and I did that and then when I put it all together, it was gaping in the in-betweens. So I added snaps oh. in the in-betweens to keep it together. <laughs> 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 and then the collar is just a reverse stockinette. So it curls in around the top. Look on the shoulder she has. Look at how funny that looks by the sleeve. I guess it's the way she sewed it or picked it up. Yours doesn't mm -hmm. have that. Yours it actually it does. does it? There is there is a line. As, oh I see it. Yes, it doesn't it? stand out as much as hers. This yarn the the yarn she used in the pattern, I'm not sure what it was, but it was a very smooth mm -hmm. probably well it's not wool but because this is beyond wool. <laughs> but it's a very smooth yarn that really pops the cables. This I used Juniper Moon Zoe or Zoe. And this is kind of a slubby, thick and thin, plus it's cotton linen, so it doesn't have the stitch definition 
that this one has. Right. So it's although I different. have that there, you, you it doesn't really no, stand out. No, it doesn't out stand out too much. Beautiful. No. So I'm happy with it. It's nice and comfortable, lightweight for hot, more warmer weather. Very nice. Yeah. What did what did that take you a month? Uh, it was it like, like it was six. Cast. Yeah, it was six, six maybe even eight weeks. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. It took, it took, I was surprised too. I looked at, I forget, I looked at my start date. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like you just started it. Well, because last month I showed what I had the front and backs done. Yes. And then it took me a couple more weeks to do the sleeves and the button and the bands. bands and all the finishing. So, yeah. Yeah. So the bands, did you pick up stitches? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I did a modified Patty Lyons buttonhole. The buttonhole she does in here is actually a pretty good one. So I started with her buttonhole and then I finished with Patty Lyons buttonhole. <laughs> Have you made any other sweaters from this book? This from looks like a really good book. book. Did hmm. you show the front cover? Yeah, I did. Did you? Okay. Yeah, this is the front yeah, cover. Yeah, it's really, it's familiar to me. I can't remember if I have or not. Oh, look, this even looks like a, an Andrea awesome. Mallory. It does. I may not have made anything no, else. No, there aren't too many. Mm -hmm. I like the front on the front cover. Yeah, too. that's very pretty. Like Bavarian knitting, twisted stitches. <laughs> it's 20 years now. Oh my the book goodness. came out in 2004. Exactly. Like 20 years. Speak oh, speaking of long time. <laughs> long time. I am wearing a Laura Eiler shawl. I'll take it off and show you. It's called Counter current and it's from 2016 <laughs> it's Not modular knitting it's all garter stitch and it's done with gradient a gradient set that i bought at conversational threads back in that year that's the year i made it when it came out and i just it's fingering weight i just loved making this and it's just gorgeous colors it. and that, isn't this yarn beautiful yeah. i think this is fabulous fibers i was trying to think what it was this is one of my favorites. Ah, I, really I like, like the it. size of it. Mm -hmm. It's not too big. Joy and I were just talking about size of sh sizes of shawls. And it's not like um, the Stephen Mike shawls, which are really large. Four or five skeins. And years ago, we were making these large rectangular shawls. I have quite a few of them, which I never wear. This is Yes, this Good is size. one of my favorites. I yeah. just love this. And of course, it's my colors. Yeah. So, it's beautiful. I really like it. And you can wear it the way everyone's wearing them now. In the front, with the tails underneath, hidden. But for today, I am just I just did it like this. So we could, I could take it off easily and be comfortable. And I do have so many shawl pins and all types of pins that I would put on the shoulder too. That's the way I used to wear it. That was more popular. Back then, 2016, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I brought along another one because I had it in the same Ziploc bag or zipper bag. This is another Laura Eiler, and this is called First Point of Libra. I'm pretty sure that these were, one of these was a knit along. I don't know if it was the first one or the second one. But this is from 2015, and this is also using Gradient. Mine is subtle. Yeah, it's very it goes subtle. From pink. It's more like a paint, a red, a darker red. Yeah, you can see it. And it's the same shape as the other one. It's a nice triangle, same size, fingering weight, modular knitting, garter stitch. And I just love it. They're so stretchy. I know I use size four needles because I always use size four for my fingering weight shawls. And they work the best. And this washes beautifully, holds up. Look, at there's no pilling. And I wore these a lot. Do you remember what yarn this was? I think, I, I don't remember the name of it, but I think it was from the yarn gallery. I'm pretty sure it was a small gradient kit because you really didn't, there were five different colors from the pink to the red. It's, it's wool. I That's it's really, it's 100% really wool. I know that. Smooth gradient. Too. It's not um, five colors. Yeah, I can't remember whose it was. It almost looked like it's only three, but there's, mm -hmm. it's so subtle. It really fades into the next yeah. one. Very pretty. Without fading. <laughs> <laughs> it fades without you forcing it to fade. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Some of my oldies book goodies. Yeah. 
Well, I have a couple okay. of finished mm -hmm. objects. Let's see, what do I want to talk about first? My scarf, my so-called scarf, which I finished. The pattern is called My So-Called Scarf, and it's by the Imaginate Design Team. It has this pretty herringbone pattern. And I did make a tutorial for how to work this, which I put up recently. For the yarn, I used marionated yarns. And this is their Cooper NSW BFL DK in the colorway Forest Scape. I didn't use the whole two skeins. I knit it until it was 60 inches long and then I just stopped. And you can probably tell if you look at oh, it. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh yes, um, more green. I could see more green. You can see this one's more brown and mm -hmm. muted. This one is greener and brighter. Mm -hmm. So when I started my second skein, oh, it's all right. It's pretty obvious. And I had no idea. I wound the skeins and they looked pretty close to me. I didn't even think about, oh yeah, I should alternate rows, but I probably should have. But for me, I don't mind it. When you wrap it around your neck, you mm -hmm. won't see it right here. Yeah. So I'll, I'll probably wear it either like this. Mm -hmm. So one half will be green and right. one half will be brown. <laughs> like that. Oh, but that's pretty. Or I Unless may... somebody really, really looks at it. Or knitter, right. Knitter. <laughs> yeah. An another <laughs> knitter would be like, oh, oh I see. Oh. <laughs> or I would probably wear it like this. Double wrap. Depending on how cold it is outside. And this yarn blocked beautifully. It got it, so much softer. I just felt it and I knew you blocked it. I could tell. It didn't uh, fill in and bloom as much as I expected, but it's very soft. And like I said, oh, I, knitted, I knitted it to 60 inches and it grew at least 10 inches when I blocked it. So it's 70 plus inches long now. And you know what? I like the wrong side. Yeah. It's very different. But it's pretty. Look at it. Yep. Almost looks like artist stitch. It's really pretty. Mm -hmm. So that is done and I'm very happy with it. And then I have one other finished object, which is my latest Afghan hexagon. This one turned out oh. mostly blue. Mm -hmm. Blue and gold. Very pretty. And that's your fourth one, did you This say? is my third one. Oh, your third one. Okay. I haven't been, knit the fourth one yet. So this is Persian Dreams by De Janice Hope. And I'm using County Effect Garn. Or how do you say it? Connie. Con Connie. Connie Effect Garn. So it does the, I'm using two mm -hmm. strands from two different balls. And it's they're both the same colorway. So one was fading gold to brown and the other one was fading blue to brown yeah they were both fading into brown so they around the edges you could the gold was not fading as fast as the blue was so that's that i have one more to go in this colorway and then i'll switch to another colorway they're all so different it's amazing yeah are you still on the first ball? The, well, I'm using two balls. Oh, that's right. You're alternating. Yeah. So you're still using the mm -hmm. original two? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to have enough for four of these hexagons plus. I mean, there'll still be yarn left over. Okay. So you have plenty for there. I have plenty. Yeah. That's good. Lots and lots. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You what are you showing today? Yeah. Socks. I always have socks. I make a pair a month. These are the ones I had half done last month. Oh, yeah. And these are the Lang Jawal 7525 wool nylon. Just basic stockinette. Joyce pattern. These are perfect. My regular heel and toe. Great, I just love them. Great, like, everyday socks. I yeah. just love them. And then I finished one sock for my next pair. And... I have about half, I'm at the heel on um, the second one. So these, I love the color. Yeah, that's these, pretty. These pretty. 
It must look like an animal print, like a leopard or something. Very nice. Tiger. I like those colors. Very pretty. And this is my old stash from the yarn gallery. This is Scholler and Stahl German yarn, Fortissima Saka, Mexico color. I'm pretty sure it's 75.25. Yep. All of these yarns are 75.25, the German yarns, the sock yarns. It's an old yarn. I don't even know. I really like I don't even know if one. these are in business anymore. I haven't seen this Scholler and Stahl. Opal is, but this. I have no idea. Hmm. I don't know. So that's that. All right. And I'm still so working on my, this is what I've been showing the past how many <laughs> months, but I'm progressing. I've gotten to the white right front on my pressed flowers and I'm loving it. That's gorgeous. I made it, gorgeous. once I uh, block it, I'm sure it's going to be 17 inches to the armhole. The pattern calls for 12 and a half. That's not for no me. No way. Too short. So this is, this is going to be 17 inches. This is stunning. I love this. I just love it. Love it. Love it. So now I just have everything on hold. The back's on hold. The other front is on hold. While you work on this front, the right front, then the left front, then the back. Then pick up your band around the neck. Or your and are band. the armholes top down or bottom up? Top, top down, I think. The sleeves are worked in the round. Oh, with right side always facing. That's why there's a different chart. Aha. Uh -huh. And join main color at bound up armhole stitch, underarm stitch. Pick up and knit. Pick yep. up and knit so they're from the top, top down. down. That's what I thought. Yes, I like that. Yeah, then you can adjust the sleeve length very easily. Yes. That's why I like to do mine top down when I can. Mm hmm. Yes. And the other thing is, too, the other reason it's good, I did, I remember I did check that because I'm not sure if I have enough of that yarn mm -hmm. for the floral deco design. And it could be three quarter sleeves, which wouldn't bother me. I know you don't like, I like three quarter sleeves. I usually push all my sleeves up anyway. Uh -huh. But it's good that it's top down. <laughs> I have plenty of the green, but I don't want to make green sleeves. Oh, right. Like you did for that, the vest. Like I did for the, the uh, Andrew Mallory. Yeah. yeah, tessellated. But the, I had plenty of yarn for that. No, I did I? No, I didn't have enough yarn. That was another thing. And also, it was close to, I think it was the week of Rhinebeck. Oh, yeah, we were before. getting. Mm -hmm. And I knew if I just used the solid instead of trying to do that tessellated pattern, I'd never be done. But I finished it for Rhinebeck. Well, I'm going to do my whips as part of the yarn crawl because oh. they're both using yarn oh. crawl yarn. Oh, wow, you started that already. I did. Our little passports and our tote bags. Yeah. I just love this it's design. It's a really nice bag. This bag, look at how dirty it got, is a heavy, heavy canvas. I love it. And show the side how it's pleated. And it's, yeah. It's pleated it on the, the side. And the, right. So it has lots bottom. of room. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can see, it's full. It's full. That's my yarn crawl. <laughs> <laughs> I brought mine in my New York Chica wool bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This passport was really nice because not only did it have a list of participating shops, which I'll show you, and we got our hearts, a different heart at every shop. They, when you visit, they give you a little heart to show that you've been there. And if you did... 10 to 17, if you visited 10 to 17 of these shops, um, you could mail this in, this in. I'm not sure. What do you do? Take a picture? Scan it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, they had special drawings. Nice, mm -hmm. nice drawings. Really nice drawings. Yeah. But we only did, what did we do? Seven. Seven. We did seven. We did one on Thursday night, Pearls of Wisdom, and we did six, six on Saturday. I never thought we'd make it. But the other thing about this book that was very helpful was this yarn crawl map. So we were easily able to figure out our little corner that we, yeah. <laughs> that we took. And it was just beautiful. I think this was very organized. Very and they well mentioned organized. that they're gonna do it again next mm -hmm. year already. Yep. So I'm very happy about that. Hopefully we'll do it again next year. Yeah. And the weather's just as gorgeous. <laughs> Driving around, we didn't take any highways. We went all through country, the suburbs, yeah. 
beautiful and all the trees were in bloom with the cherry blossoms and daffodils and wisteria it was gorgeous mm -hmm. and we were all six of us six yeah. of us were crowded into one little not little. It wasn't a it little was a car. Big SUV. <laughs> yeah. There were three seats. So. <laughs> and then our, one of our other friends drove separately so, because she comes from a different direction. Yeah. But we met up at every store. Yeah. So how do you want to start at each Well, shop? Thursday night we went to Pearls of Wisdom. Mm -hmm. And we all met there because that's our one of our local, local yarn shops. Mm -hmm. So we all met there. And then we went out to dinner after. And I got these buttons there. And then I also got this yarn, which is El Array Eco Organic Cotton. And I'm using this to make a baby sweater for my coworker. I got blue and white. I have these in little yarn bras so they don't fall apart. But. Oh, yeah, so right. I have uh, blue and white. And my plan is to do a striped sweater i forgot to bring a picture to show you but the oh. pattern is called the baby i don't know how to pronounce it it's a-o-s-t-a -A, oh. baby osta sweater and it's by the knit pearl girl and it is a raglan top down baby sweater where there's the one raglan side is open and it has buttons and then i'm just going to stripe the blue and the white together for that sweater and his baby is due in may so i have like six weeks to get oh. it done oh you will. but i'm making a 12 month size so i it doesn't need to be right away oh, and this is in are. my art and collins bag yeah it's ella ray eco LRA. Cotton. yes eco okay cotton okay yeah yeah that's a nice yarn have you used it no but it looks, it feels nice. I, I did a little swatch looks. and it turned out very nicely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you get something at Pearl's? Oh, that's right. We got that too. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. This was one thing I knew ahead of time that I wanted to get. It was the, it's the Yarn Crawl 2024 color. And it's, she had them made, uh, dyed specially for the shop by Lilac and Vine Yarn Company. And I bought. Did you buy the finger? No. no. I bought the fingering. The base is Comfy Sock. 100 grams, 400 yards. And of course, it's gorgeous colors and I love. Yeah. And I got the Bouncy DK, which is 100 grams, 231 yards. Doesn't say what the yarn content is, though. I'm assuming it's a Super Rush Merino Nylon blend, but it doesn't say... I asked about the sock yarn. I don't know about that, but she did tell me that this was an 80-20. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. The person she who was checking us in. She I doesn't have her. it on there. Yeah, it doesn't say. That's funny. Because I, I specifically said, you know, I wanted to know if there was nylon in this sock yarn mm. to make socks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think she told me what the DK was. And she's Maybe got... Maybe the call the, the shop. She's got Etsy and Instagram on her label, but I tried to look her up and I couldn't find her oh, you on either it? place. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, it's a beautiful colorway. Hmm. So that was pearls. Okay. Right. And, and then, then we Saturday, mm -hmm. we got bright and early when it opened at 10 o'clock. We went to Doylestown, which is Forever Yarn is the name of the shop. I got yarn from Le Garçon. That forever yarn. Isn't that a cute logo? Their label is microscopic on the back. <laughs> and I don't have my oh glasses my on goodness. at the moment. Remy's peach, it says. <laughs> Remy's peach. <laughs> Here we go. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> oh, that is. 100% wow. Superwash BFL. DK weight. This is Remy's Peach is the colorway. And then this one is called Eli's Childhood Home. Oh. So DK Superwash BFL. And this is, so this is peach, obviously. And this is a sort of a gray blue color. I have no idea what I'll make with them, but I thought they went together well. And I 
wanted to try the Le Garçon yarn. I did too, but they didn't have a big selection. No, they did not. They had I maybe just couldn't figure out ten colors mm -hmm. in DK and maybe another ten in fingering. Mm, yeah, not even. Yeah, yeah. It maybe was, it was eight. It was really yeah. I was disappointed. But she had but, lots of other oh, gorgeous stuff. That's a beautiful yarn mm -hmm. shop. They, she has so much lobby in a me. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's got oh my goodness. Just two, beautiful. maybe even three walls of La Bienne May. She has a ton of it. And Amy, who is La Bienne May from Paris, is coming to their shop in April. That's actually going to be in Maryland. That event. Oh, that's right. But she but I thought she was coming to the shop for no, she's not oh, visiting. I don't, I don't know. Okay. But the event that they were advertising is in Maryland. Maryland. But I thought she was stopping in the shop. It's too. that's I possible. She's been there before. I'm so she carried it. I can't remember. Oh, it's just a beautiful little shop. Very little. But it's a beautiful little shop. And the owner is very vivacious. Yeah. And helpful. <laughs> she's a good saleswoman. <laughs> she's very, very cute. Um, and it was packed. But anyway, I found oh, I had a hard time deciding. Yeah. I found this yarn from Little Fox. Mm, I love oh, Little Fox yarn. Beautiful. I've never bought it, but it's so nice. And I have a pale, pale like aqua and pale pink. And it is, oh, the base is Vulpine, V-U-L-P-I-N-E, 231 yards. So it's DK weight, 80 superwash merino, 10 cashmere and 10 nylon. This is just beautiful. Yeah. It's really nice. It feels wonderful. Mm -hmm. Definitely something for the neck. Definitely. Yeah. And this color is Petal. And that is Silver Sage. Little mm. Fox. So pretty. Yeah. Really nice. And that's that. For that shop. Okay. That's and after that. Doylestown, we went to Lahaska, where we went to Twist, Knitting, and Spinning, which was about the same size, I would say, in terms of could be yeah. space. Yeah, the set yarns is different. long and narrow, and yeah, twist, twist had a, like a, a front room and then another room that went so it's sort of L shaped. They actually had four rooms. Oh, did they had the one on the right? Oh, that was where the yeah. sock yarns in the main room, and then in the back they had the we the spinning room or weaving. They actually I think had weaving and spinning, and they had a bunch of floor looms set up in the right. back room. Yeah. And then the other little, I went in there, I thought, but it was all they had in there was the roving. Yeah. For spinning. Yeah. So they had a little room for that too. They had a big variety of yarn companies, but they didn't have any depth in, except for Let Lopi and Pluto Lopi. Oh, I didn't even they look really at those. Did. I did. They didn't. You know, for example, I was looking for Kelborn. I wanted to see what they had in Kelborn. And they just had one shelf. Right. They they only had a little bit of right. scout there. Mm -hmm. A lot of the but, shops, because Kelborn is in our area. Right. I a was lot of the shops had a little bit of Kelborn, but right. none of them had really a, a lot, lot. Right. Which is fine. Which is fine. Yeah. We, we can know, always we know go. where to get it. <laughs> We can go to the later. source. <laughs> um, I was I would really like their sock yarns because with the kind of sock yarn I liked. I yeah, she. I it looked like some special. of this might have been on the shelf for a while. And this is definitely. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's older <laughs> yarn, but it's what I like. So you it's, got sock yarn, and so did I. We both yep. got sock yarn there. So I got my fa one of my favorites, opal. Yeah, very nice and solid blue. This is nice blue color. Oh, yeah, seventy-five twenty-five. Yeah, so I got a blue, a black, which is always hard to find. Yes, and charcoal gray. Yeah. So I won't be doing stuff. I won't be uh, doing plain vanilla socks with these. I'm going to do little stitch patterns of some sort with these three, and then even with the black, the black. Well, actually, the black might be used for Contrast. a shawl with different. Yeah. yeah, if I'm doing a mosaic or some. Kind of stitch the black might be i don't know i'll have to see and then the other thing these these are my that's what this yarn is that from one? the laura eiler yeah wonderland yarns that's what it was oh i couldn't think of the name wonderland yarns my some of my favorite yarns i always bought these and 
yarn gallery and conversational threads, but I don't see them around too much anymore. And this is called Pigments of the Imagination. Mary Ann is the name of the yarn. It's 475 yards for four ounces, 85% fine superwash merino, and 15% nylon. And the, oh, the colorway is Hatbox. And of course, it's my shades again. Yeah. It's beautiful. Greens. It has a little pale, bit of camel. It's green. that aqua that I love. Very pretty. This one. So are you thinking shot sock or shawl? I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's so pretty. So well, I, I also got some socks. Yes. This one is shaft paint, which I actually never heard of, but it's That's it's an opal yarn. <laughs> And I, I like this colorway, it's sort of um, mm -hmm. reds and like a jeansy blue. And it's it has a picture on how it knits up, kind of stripey. But I like these colors. They make a, they would make a good casual sock for wearing the jeans every day. And then they had some, a limited selection of the Earth Yarn Sock Kits. And this one knits up in blues as well which I thought would be great for jeans also. I'm, yeah. a, I'm a jeans person. I wear jeans a lot. I like pretty every colors, day. I have to say. Oh, They're the nicest, a... unique colors I've seen. Oh, this is all. You know what? I'm going to open this up. Give me a second. There's the very pretty colors. I like it. Beautiful. Color mm. 64. Oh, and there's a sock pattern. So the pattern is is that uh, you scan a, the mm -hmm. URL and they give you the pattern. Those are my colors. That's beautiful. They they are your colors. Yeah. That's beautiful. It was kind of hard to see in the box. You I just went right. by the picture on the side and I liked that. And you can't make them that long. If there's not enough yarn. That's what I found with mine. I I saw a couple of knitting friends. We were talking about our stashes, and they said, "How much sock yarn do you have?" And I and I said, "I don't know, maybe twenty balls." And they both looked at me like, <laughs> "I'm like, is that a lot of sock yarn?" And they're both like, "Yeah." Oh, but then they're, not. they're telling me how much sweater yarn they have, and I'm like, "That's a lot of sweater yarn." <laughs> yes. So I guess it just depends, you know. What you're not like us. We make socks. Continuously, yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least a pair a month. I make. I don't know. You, you're I'm not it. as you were not as prolific as you are, but no, because it's always my carry along project. So right. I'm lucky if I get a sock every two months. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought it was more than that. Well, you do a lot of sweaters, so. So oh, we found a wonderful. I might as well say after mm -hmm. Stitch Central, it was lunchtime. Mm -hmm. Not Stitch Central. Twist. A twist. Twist knitting. That's right. I looked down and I saw something. Uh, twist knitting in Lahaska. Recommended the restaurant across the street called Caleb's, Caleb's American Kitchen, something. something something like that. And wonderful, yeah, wonderful restaurant. Oh my goodness! It does, from the outside, you would say you mm. wouldn't know, but inside it's really pretty. It looks like it was all remodeled. The service is wonderful. The food is incredible. Large it's not portions. expensive, really, I would say. They, and you could have breakfast. Or lunch. Or mm -hmm. lunch. Any yeah, any time. So half, about excellent. half, even more excellent. than half of our group got breakfast, even yes, though it was like did. noon. Yeah. Yeah. And one one of our friends got a quiche like we've never seen before. It was, it was tall. <laughs> it was. Not oh your God. standard like pie quiche, but, but like. It had thick crust and. Yeah. It was looked really really good yeah i think if, i know if i saw that before i ordered i would have ordered it <laughs> it was really nice yeah but so that was a nice break and it then was we went on to newtown and there it's echo valley, echo valley fiber. fiber and that was cute that was in a little village type place with other shops little shops and this place was very small and very crowded and tight <laughs> It looked like an old general store. Mm -hmm. It had the front porch. cupboards, wall to ceiling, like drawers in the bottom and then open right. shelves along the sides. And it was, you went in and it was long and narrow and there were like a, a series of rooms, maybe two or three mm -hmm. rooms that you walk straight back through. And then 
they also had it divvied up into aisles to fit all of their stock in there. I mean, it's a small space, but they had a ton yeah. of yarn. It's hard to get around. And yeah, so the aisles ended up being one person Two people wide. Were trying to get through. Yeah, it was a little. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but that was that was a nice shop. I liked it. It's a cute little shop. They had a little bit of Kelborn, a little Kelborn. bit of feeder book. Which yeah, very little feeder book. Echo Valley. I was looking for feeder book to see if I could find. Oh, they, they're sweater. the ones who yeah. had the Marine Wall and British Breeds in the back. In the way back, they had this whole little section set aside for Marie Wallen. They had her British Breeds wool, mm -hmm. and then they had several of her books lying around right. that you could get to yeah. um, assemble I, a oh, sweater. That just reminded me. I wanted to get back and get one of those books. I forgot. Oh, oh well. But there, it. I ended up only getting one ball of sock yarn, mm -hmm. and this is the Shoppel yarn. This is called Jeans Ball. So this is another German one. 400 meters in 100 grams, 75-25 merino nylon, and it's basically jeans colors. Mm -hmm. Dark blue fading into light blue, and I'm probably going to make a pair of socks for my husband out of this. Most likely. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, good idea. And I also bought sock yarns. The first one I thought was very different. It's, it feels wonderful. It's Barocco's Medina, M-E-D-I-N-A. I never heard of this. It's 37% cotton, 36 acrylic, 27 viscose. So it'd be summer sock. Yeah. But if, I love the way it feels. I really want to try this. Anyway, these are the colors. It doesn't have, it just has a color number. But um, it's it's green, red. It's really a nice multi. There's a little bit of pink, blue, sort of an There's autumn. all colors. It's like it's an really autumn pretty. palette. Yeah, except for the pink and green. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it knits up. But I like the way it feels. I think it'll feel good in socks. And then another, I'm not sure what I'll be making with this. Probably not socks because there's no nylon. This is Earth Yarns. Earth, U-R-T-H, don't forget. So it's the same company that makes the unique mm -hmm. sock yarn. I love the colors. Yeah, very this. pretty. And it feels wonderful. This is Knit One, Plant One. Um, each skein of Earth yarn sold plants a tree in Africa in partnership with TFF, which is Trees for the Future. I think yours is mm -hmm. that too. Right? Yeah, I think yeah. so too. So it's unique and it's fingering weight. It's 100% superwash, extra fine merino. Trees for the future. Yeah. And the yardage is 435 yards for 100 grams. And that's it. I just Very thought, pretty. This is the nicest extra fine merino. This is beautiful. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to start knitting that up, too. Okay, that's it. And then moving on, Echo we Valley. went to Glenside, which is the home of Stitch Central. And they just moved there a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And today is actually their grand opening. But they were open for the yarn crawl. I mean, they had a decent selection, I suppose, but it was not as much as I was expecting with the name Stitch Central. But it seems they were more focused on fabrics and quilting. They had beautiful fabrics. More, yeah, way more than half of the store. About two, three quarters two of the store. Two thirds to three yeah. quarters of the store was all dedicated fabric. to the fabric. But they had nice yarns mm -hmm. for what they had. Yeah, they did. I liked. And they had a lot of nice sock yarns. Yes, they did. Which is what we bought. They had a little bit of feeder brook <laughs> and something called Bio Balance, which mm -hmm. I had been curious about, but there was nothing there that really caught my eye. Oh, and I also noticed they had some West Yorkshire spinners yarn there. I think they had Norrell, too. But you got sock yarn, and so did I. Yeah, they had a pretty decent sock yarn yeah. selection. And I got one of my favorites again, Lang Yarns. This is Crocodile. It's a very long mm -hmm. Super socks. Crocodile. Super socks. Is it's that the base, or is that the colorway? No, I think it's the pad, the color and pattern, because huh. it's right next to There's okay. a picture of how it knits up. And it says, and it crocodile. says crocodile right next so to it. So it must be the color. And right. then there's a color number here, but that's, I think that's that. And it's 100 grams, 420 meters, and and it's 75 wool, 25 nylon. What is like this all say the, right here? 
Zoo socks. Zoo socks. Z O O S O X S. That's that's the line, I guess. I guess it was all animal. It's all animal ish prints. Print, yeah. 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 And I like when they have a little picture like you mm -hmm. just showed. Yeah. So Lang is one of my favorites. I grabbed this last minute. I just couldn't pass this up. And I also that's got so a sock pretty. yarn. This one is a cotton. This would be a nice summer yarn. It's called Philly from Universal Yarn. It's I've, called Philly? Mm-hmm. Wow. F I Yeah. Except it's F I L. Oh, it's F I L. Oh, okay. P -H. Okay. I didn't even think of that. That's, I thought maybe yeah. it was special. That's mm. what I was wondering. Let me feel it. Yeah. It reminds me a little bit of the Sakata. The way uh, the yarn looks. It has that sort of marly look that the Sakata has. It's 46% cotton, 33% merino 12 percent polyamide and nine percent pbt i don't know what that is pbt it must be poly i don't know anyway it's I like in three these, languages That's i like these colors and uh very nice it'll be a good uh, summer sock feels nice it's so softer than saccata and this is a multi the saccata that i have now is all solids right and this one is a nice like multi a, like a marl blues yeah. yellows oranges T-H-A-W, yeah. thaw. I didn't see you buy that one. Snuck you it in there. that one in. Yep. <laughs> oh, you were in the long line. I didn't stand in that line. Right. By the time Janet went up, there wasn't There's any line. There. <laughs> they were very nice there, I have to say. And every then... every store had their own giveaway. Mm -hmm. So right. if oh, you yes. bought something, that you were entered into their free drawing. So each store had its own little gift basket put aside they were beautiful they were nice yeah but none of us wanted it yeah <laughs> and that's right I forgot to bring I printed out all the patterns oh. each shop also gave us a free pattern mm -hmm. just by walking in the door you got a free pattern mm -hmm. which was nice but to enter the drawing you actually had to make a purchase so after that then we went to Kelbourne Woolens mm. and that is Joy where... and I have been waiting to get there Yes, we've they been wanting to go recently. Since, couple months. Since we heard that they opened, we've been wanting to go. And we almost didn't go. Like we finished, I guess, sooner than we expected. We were very to. close too. And yes, it was not far away. All these shops were really close, except mm -hmm. for Echo Valley. That was a bit of a ride. But it was sort of it's still in our route, on though. the way. Yeah. yeah. I mean it wasn't really far mm -hmm. out of the way. So they had, of course, all of their Kelbourne woolens. Oh. And the I German found, town, the Scout, all of their yarns. And I, found, and I found a Scout that I've wanted. My intention was to get sweater quantity in Scout. And I found a blue heather color that I wanted. And I needed seven skeins, and they had seven skeins. But unfortunately, there were three different dialogues. <laughs> so I asked if they had any more. They checked in the stock room for me, but they didn't. And they told me that this week they were getting their shipment from Peru. And they should have the blue heather, so I'm watching. And then when we got home, we got an email from them with 20% off the next purchase. So I think I'm, you know, I'll wait for that yarn and get my 20% off. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. And they also had Manos del Uruguay, mm -hmm. some Manos. Yep. And they also had, I think it was BC Garn. Yeah, against it that was, one wall by the Yeah, it was, it was a yarn out. I wasn't familiar with. Yeah, so BC I Garn. And I think that's about all they had. Everything is their yarns. Most of it, yeah. But then they had a special stand in the middle with their free pattern mm -hmm. and a hat. It was a hat pattern. And they had it made knit up with this wonderful, I think we all bought this, mm -hmm. cashmere <laughs> yeah. blend. It was what, the one. Number one, like this. It was pretty much the one thing I think that almost all, all of bought. us bought. Yeah. And it's ethic ethically <laughs> sourced from small farms farms in Kazakhstan. 30% cashmere, 70% merino. It's 282 yards, 50 grams. It just feels so good. And they had this mixed with, they had this mixed with the Mano Still Uruguay. Mohair. Mohair. And silk. Yeah. I didn't buy it because I have, I have it in my stash. Not that exact yarn, but something very similar to it. So I got, I actually got four of those. Oh, okay. So I have a thousand yards. The, the free pattern was a hat, and I that's one of my work in progress is I have uh, started the hat. Oh, you started the hat. Yeah. So this is their, it's 
cashmere blend number one. It was a special blend and it wasn't even on Ravelry until, well, the pattern wasn't on Ravelry either. And I waited a couple of days and it still wasn't there. So I added the pattern onto Ravelry. And then a couple of days later, Kate, the designer, added the yarn and then linked the yarn. So now the yarn is on Ravelry. Oh, okay. This is, this, I guess this is like a limited edition. That's what I figured it was. So I didn't expect to see it. Yeah. And then it's paired with this, like Janet said, Cabrito, which is a lace weight mohair from Manos. And so I have started mine. This is, so I have the yarn wound up. This is what the, uh, the two yarns look like together. And this is the oh, beginning. How that came out. I, I did a different colorway. All of the cashmere was this one color. Right, just all natural. But mm -hmm. for the Cabrito lace, they had a bunch of different colorways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. maybe as many as 10. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. They had a bunch of different colorways of this. The one in the sample was a, a colorway that closely matched mm -hmm. the cashmere. So it looked like all the same color in the hat, but it was just super soft because of the mohair added. And then I chose one. It's called Wildflowers as my colorway. And then the hat pattern has these little, what they call dandelion stitches. The hat pattern itself is called the crocus hat and it's written by Kate Gagnon Osborne who's one of the owners mm -hmm. and it has this little dandelion stitch which the astute of you may observe is very similar to the same shell dip stitch that I did for my scarf. Mm -hmm. This one has three dips whereas in my scarf that one had six dips but other than that it's the mm -hmm. exact same mm -hmm. pattern. And I have done mine in the pattern. You do, you hold the yarn together for the whole thing, but I am dropping the mohair and doing the dips with just the cashmere. It stands out more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it makes it stand out against the background mm -hmm. a little bit better. But you can see how it's spiraling, how it's pulling. I see that. And how it's pulling mm -hmm. up. Yeah. I could, the uh, pink really stands out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's here's pretty. like a, a dark brown color that's kind of standing out on this side. And there's a pale green. Very and green. it's very soft. So one of our friends wanted to buy this yarn, but didn't want to make the hat. Oh, yeah. so <laughs> <laughs> she, she said, maybe if it was a cowl, I would wear it and I'd make it. Uh -huh, so yeah. she asked Joy to write a pattern and she did the same day we got we all got patterns <laughs> so maybe but the I funny, the cowl. you know what i don't know where i saw it but i think kate herself is also doing a cow pattern oh is she except in doing see that i i did the rib like the hat has and awesome. she's doing garter rounds at the beginning instead of a ribbon but she's doing the same stitch pattern for the cow i forget where i saw that but anyway, I saw it, yeah. Are you going to do the cowl too? No. Just the hat? Yeah. Are you keeping the hat? See, I wouldn't wear the cowl. I would wear the hat, but not the cowl. Actually, I'm probably going to give the hat to Amy. Oh, Because nice. I think it's her colors. Oh, she was. Oh, my gosh. That's so nice. Yes. And then our last stop yes. was in Mount Airy. And that was... Wild Hand. Wild Hand. And apparently the owner of Wild Hand was the, like, the lead organizer of the crawl. That's what I heard. Yes. That's right. She was. I hear that too. Okay. Yeah. So that was the last place we went and it's, it's within spitting distance of Kelbourne Woods. It's like, if you go to one, you just have to go to the other. That's They're right. so close. Less yes. than half a mile apart. These two stores are. And by the way, I'll be back at Kelbourne Woods. <laughs> I really liked it there. And this wild hand. Yeah. This that was, was really mm -hmm. a cute little shop. Yeah. And they have beautiful, beautiful yarns. And it might have been the smallest shop of all the ones we went to. Mm -hmm, probably, it was yeah. pretty tiny. But they have beautiful yarn. Yarn from a lot of yarn from Portugal. I was not familiar with the brand, but she had a bunch of different bases. And one wall was basically all this Portugal yarn. Yeah, Rosa Pomar. Is that who it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a nice yarn and it's not expensive. It's definitely a better price. Mm -hmm. And they had Feederbrook. They had a 
A little they bit. Had spin cycle. A little bit of scalp. They had a lot of spin cycle, actually. Kelborn, that's right. They did have and that's, Kelborn Wool and Scalp. That's, that's what right. I bought. I bought, I've never gotten spin cycle before. So I got my little souvenir skein for the that's yarn a mini, haul. right? Is that a mini? It's 200 yards. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it weighs. Maybe 50 grams? I'm not sure. It doesn't okay. have a weight on it. It just says 200 oh, really? yards. So this mm -hmm. is spin cycle dyed in the wool. And the colorway is called Rusted Rainbow. They label mm -hmm. it as sport weight. Now, I think I think I did read somewhere or hear somewhere on the podcast that they're now doing 50 gram skeins. So if you don't need a full 100 gram skein, they're doing half like these 50 gram skeins now. What do you think you're going to put it in? I have no idea. But like everybody says, it's not cheap. I was going to buy two and then I thought, oh, I can't afford it at the moment but anyway that fit looks like a finger more than a sport but so that's Ooh. why i got it well did you get that's anything at well no i didn't oh okay but it was a very huge shop and by that time i was tired <laughs> well that was the it was like <laughs> five o'clock we I, bought enough <laughs> we left here at 9 a.m and we left wild hand i think around five mm -hmm. so we got home around six ish mm -hmm. so it was it was an all-day nice, adventure. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was a lot of fun. Yes, it certainly yeah. was. I can't wait for next year. And you'll see some footage here at the end. And I think that's it for us. That's it. Yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. Happy Easter. Keep on knitting. Stay well. Yep. Warm weather is on the way. It's I saw coming. next Saturday it's going to be 60 again. Oh, okay. So that should be nice. Maybe Easter will be nice, too. Yeah. Not too much rain this week. Except for today. <laughs> this is it. After today, we're good. <laughs> It'll dry up a little bit. Yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs>